Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to use the case statement. So the case statement works um, sim similar to an if statement. Um, yes, let's get started. Um, this is our GUI. Um, here is an, a labeled edit component and the name is EDT input and here is the a label called LBL, L LBL output. And here's a button. Let's start writing code. Let's first store the data we get from, let's call it C data and char. Basically, our program will, will um, receive a Roman number and then gives us the decimal number back. So, for instance, like I in Roman is 1 and um, then in Roman is X and thousand is M for instance so but that's basically what we want to do so it says C dot equals to the EDT input dot um, text and the first character so then we can basically just Say uh, brackets. Oh no, man. If C data equals, oh, I have the numbers here. Let me just check. Okay. So if this equals this, then um, LBL output dot. Uh, why doesn't this work? What's the, what did I name it? LBL output. What did I type? LBL output. Oh, needs a T output. Okay. Dot caption colon equals. Then you can, of course, just simply say it like this. Then copy and paste it a few times. Then there's one for the VXLC. Oops. V. V B X L C D let's also add one for M. This is basically one, this is five, this is ten, big L is fifty. Yes, then C is hundred and D is five hundred and as yes I'm correct okay so maybe it's, then we can basically just do it like this and this will work of course that it let me show it means we can add V you will see 5 or we can add M and in not in I mean L this will work but there's a different way there's a different way to do this so let's comment this out uh, let me show you a different way. I mean, yet really told you guys comments. Anyway, um, this is a comment. Everything between this is a comment. The comment is basically just code code that, that isn't that isn't read by the by the compiler, so it doesn't really do anything. Just give it, do this if you want to also. But you can also comment like this with two dashes, not to that two um, slashes, forward slashes. Anyway. So a case statement, if, not if, I'm tired, okay, let's so say case c data of, then the end of, we'll start adding i, if it's i, then it does this, if it's v, if it's x, if it's L, if it's C, if it's D, it's if it's M, this will be 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1000. Basically, this code and this code does exactly the same, and I'll prove it. For instance, I 
or C or X. So that clearly works. Um, so this code, these two um, codes does exactly the same. Although I would think that this one is more preferred, the case statement is more preferred for something such such as this. So the case statement also works with numbers. For instance, we can add one, uh, five. So you can do it the other way around also. It just works with characters and numbers. You can't have strings in it or anything else. Um, I think, think it all can also work with booleans, but I'm not sure. Anyway, B. Mm, I have no idea why is that. That should be ten. There's x. Fifty is l c d and. M. Then we get a nice little error. Why? Oops, because C data is currently a um, a type char. So let's just make it type integer to show you guys what we want. And we'll just basically convert it um, sync to int. So if you add 50, we get V. If you add 1000, we get M. Or we'll get I. Why do we get I? That's weird. 5B. 10 is I. Oops. I took the first character. Lol. Guess my mistake. Just remove the first character. It should select everything. So now it works, and that's basically it, it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.